Alright, I guess I'm recording. 24 minutes, 10 seconds, yes. Right, but it says recording. Yes. Hi guys, we're back. George is behind the camera. Anyway, we're just doing Lab of Palooza. Yeah, we're like at the Kentucky Derby. That's gonna be wrong. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna try to get this one back. I'm gonna try to get that one. Back. Stay on this one. It's gonna go that way. Get over this one. You're not gonna get the shot from there, George. You're not gonna going that way. George, you're gonna have to be right here. You need to be right there because they're finna go that way. Oh, on the fence line over here. No, no, George, they're going this way. I understand that. Well, but you're not going to get a shot from there, are you? I got a perfect shot from right here. Well, stay on that big one. Anyway, Mandy, I have got uh, Parker out here with all these because these are all a good example. These all come when they're called. So I got Prechester and then Smokey's just, Smokey's the odd man out and the boxer. All through. You know, so you've got your all through with very little fanfare. And I'm gonna tell you, we're just gonna wait here a second, George. Now get over here where they can't see us. Oh, because you do, if you're getting a default, they are gonna come back looking for you. <laughs> Wet dogs. Well, one came back, so we're lucky. All right, look, here comes John Henry. Get John Henry in the shot. Hello, John Henry. He's coming for his cookie. Oh, at least one came back. All right, come on. So I'm just, you know, again, I don't have any reaction. I'm like John Henry. I'm not going to have some big reaction to them. Oh, they're having the time of their lives. Look at them. Oh, you got to zoom on there, too. Right, look, look, look at that one. Way over there. Watch this. Sounds like it, yes. Or look like it, I could say. You know, and I mean, I, what that got me was a bunch of distance, and he was moving fast. All right, come on, let's go for a kick. Look, I know that you're going to believe him. I want you to know, George, I was really impressed with all your work last night. Thank you. And, and, yes, you're very, uh, you know, innovative and stuff like that. The new hose has been working out perfect. Uh, and I've got the blue knife. I, I didn't find anything else, though. I believe my son buried it in a hole by the fence that I built. What was it? Uh, it was just a tool. I did find uh, some staples strewn across the ground with uh, the other part of the hole. Come here, Molly. Let me kill you. And you said, what's taking him so far away? Well, the fact that he's got them to play with and really doesn't need me. Right, look, there's John Henry going in the bushes. Oh, all right, let's just go. All right, look, that one wants to go back in the water. All right, stay on this one. Stay on this one. Because he's going to go back towards it. He's torn between the water Boom. And that's really what you want. If you said you mean they're, they're running at you and looking for a very specific target. And if you said yes, you mean like in track and field with the baton? Yes, yes. 
They're looking for a very specific target. If not, it's, you know, if they're just coming in your direction in general or whatever, you know, that's what Maverick does in the morning when I run. He just kind of, he understands that when I'm calling him or whatever, it just means come in my general direction and stay in my general area. At that point in time, he understands it doesn't mean come right to me. Because I'm just running along anyway. He's in all his glory with all the other little dogs. Those little dogs are almost the same age as him, I think. Maybe a little bit younger. Anyway, George, one of the remotes fell back here. I saw it drop on the video. And the next day it was gone. So I figured out squirrels picking up the tree. No, one of your dogs chewed on it. No, George. No, it dropped back there and then somehow during the night dogs came and got out of their cages and came Oh, no, I'm not saying night. that. I'm not saying that. No, ma'am. I put another one back there the next day and it was gone too. And people leave GoPro cameras all the time and dogs grab them. I, I mean squirrels grab them. So that's what happened. Squirrels took it. So we just have to figure out what tree they took it up in. Or I'm not completely ruling out we might find it again. All right guys, so remember, what we've got is an area where they might go far away. And if you said, what's it gonna take to get them to go far away? Just any one of them goes. You know that, George, one dog goes, they'll all go. Yes. Unless it's good when the good ones stay. Alright, look at the whole pack. I can turn all of them by turning one. But I'll, I'll do my pages. Oh. Couldn't even do it because I'm turning on the other. I'll come on to that. Anyway, no, it fell right here. And then I'm looking at all these bushes, doing all these things. And then I just keep going back. It's like that movie vantage point. I kept going back, looking at the video over and over again. Because right, right when it was in my hand, and then I turned like that, and when I turned back, so then I realized. I saw it laying right there on the ground. No, it's crazy. So, just to test it, then my friend went online. All these videos of squirrels grabbing GoPros and taking them up in trees. So, I just got an old one that didn't work and put it back there the next day, and it was gone by the next day. Huh. And it ended up in the backyard, too. Yeah. Well, what made me think of it was I looked out the window and saw these squirrels running up and down a tree. All right, look, I got dogs out of my sight. Watch this. I'm going to see this dog real quick. Pray! John Henry's going that way. All right, let's go back this way. But, you know, these dogs had recalls installed when they were little puppies. And if you said, how's that coming in handy? Well... George isn't having to spend the day looking for these things in the bushes. Right, look, there goes that puppet. And he's on. Because he's moving, that's what I want to do. They're going to all want to run for the water, so. You know, you've got, you've got to be, you know, aware of your, oh, look at him going to the you know, Any of them that you can get out of your sight. <laughs> you don't want to act suspicious yet. You don't want them to look back. I should just be going like this when they look back and they're just like, oh, it's texting or whatever it does. If I wanted them to, you know, believe, look at John Henry. I'm going somewhere. I, all I have to do is augment my hand movement. Look. Why wouldn't you think that meant you were going somewhere? That's what I did this morning. Oh, uh, George, just the up. I was did this morning with Maverick. He went, wait, there's one little road that we turn on. He went way ahead. 
So I started running really fast and turning on that road, and he saw that and came running, and then, you know, we have dogs when I get ahead of you. Okay, I'll tell you who's gone. I want, come here, George. I want you to stay on that one because he's going to head back for that water. He, he couldn't help himself. He was so tempted by the water. I right, get up here, though, because he's going to come down this way. But all he needs, he's looking for that other one to go so that he can go. He's going to still know you're going to see. Pray! And if you said he took up too much real estate, oh, please. All right, watch. Chester! Boom. You know, and I mean, they're, they're, they're not thinking later, she's not really going that way. You know, if you can just act it out a little bit, people believe actors all the time. But people think that people on like sitcoms are their character. Am I wrong? Well, I'm not the character in them, but you know. Ah! A dead fish, George. Ah! What you think? Where you think you're putting it? I don't know. What am I going to do with it? I'm holding a dead fish. All right, let me distract him and then throw it out in the middle. I'm just going to go this way. I get on that one in the water, George. Don't hold it out like that. I'm not trying to. They want the fish. I want to throw the fish. Well, but don't let them see you throw it. All right, go ahead. Hurry. I choose. I hope you threw it way out there, because if it's floating right there... It floats! It's not... Seriously? <laughs> it's a slippery dead fish, come on! I was holding it by its George, tail. I didn't sign up for this. Uh, well... Hey, that's what happens if I see a dead fish. Oh, they're gonna swim out there now. Well, this will be a good video. Get up here. This will be a good video how to keep it off a dead fish. No, no, they're looking for it now. Or John Henry's going, he's going back. Oh no, Priest going right for it, I'm sure. Oh, he's looking for it, watch this. Stay on that one, stay on that one. Oh, he's looking for it. I can't imagine it would be too hard to find. Oh, he's steady looking for it. <laughs> he's got it. Pretty! Oh no! He's bringing it. <laughs> this is my fault for not. Yay! Pray! He still dropped it. Well, I know. I didn't want him to bring it. That was my fault. That was bad timing. Ay, ay, ay. But how did it get out on the. How did it get out up here? Did something get it out of there? I'm sure that was a raccoon or something dragging it out, yes. All right, look. Ah! Ah! Nachos! I right, stay on the dead fish because if he goes back, I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna try to get him off of him. We already had this episode one time. Ah! Chester! Oh Pree's Pre looking for it. Watch, watch. Pree's looking for it. He's gonna find it. It's not that they're not that hard to find. How hard can a dead fish be to find? Joe! Free! Ah! Free! You had a default come back rather than go to it. Anyway, guys, we've got to go. We've got to get rid of this dead fish. I can't. I can't handle it when they're. The shoe bottom's fixing to get it now. No plan of throwing it away didn't work. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, I just stepped on it. Uh, ah, nachos! Free! Alright, guys, we'll be right back. <laughs>